Red Bull. And that's probably like a candy of some kind, the juice, you know. This is so a demonstration of Wirecast. So companies are sort of using brands that you are already familiar with to promote their products to the younger generation. Next. I've got the live stream up. You want to pause? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that'd be fine. Okay, now y'all answer. <laughs> this is a demonstration of Wirecast. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, the dark blue? Yes. Mm -hmm. I'll talk fast. Or y'all can get through lunch. <laughs> this is a demonstration of Wirecast. This is a demonstration of Wirecast. <laughs> okay, just tell me when you're ready. This is a demonstration of Wirecast. Y'all go 1140. Ooh, I'm going to have five minutes. Okay. Uh, my name is Sandra Bethune, and I work with the Northwest this Regional Cancer Coalition as their tobacco cast. program manager. I cover 15 different counties, so I go to a lot of schools to do a presentation on, uh, for fifth graders as well as middle school and high school. Uh, today, I'm going to be doing the presentation on e-cigarettes and vape pens 101. Uh, so how many of y'all have probably vaped or jeweled? or are still doing it, raise your hands. I mean, I'm not here to get anyone in trouble. I just wanted to, you know, see just for this my information. This is a demonstration of Wirecast. So most of us, you know, probably does. So what is e-cigarettes? Can someone tell me? Yes. Yes, it's an electronic device. We have a battery. We have the heating coil, we have the sorbent material which absorbs the liquid that they put in. Then you've got the nicotine aerosol that will uh, be vaped out. Of course, you've got the early this products that we used. This is of Wirecast. Uh, there are probably still some on the market as well. Then we've got the next. Go ahead. The next generation. You've got the e-hookahs, the ones that looks like a pipe. You've got the ones that looks like a tank. And I've also got some devices that I brought along with me. These are very small devices, so are, they are easy to hide, especially this one. This is a jewel. This is what mostly the school uh, students this are using in school now. This is a of Wirecast. Uh, and they, uh, then I've got one that looks, you know, probably smaller than a credit card. So, you know, they can put it in their pocket. Teachers don't even know, but with a jewel, the, they can vape it in the classrooms, bathroom, on the buses. All they do, they take the little uh, pod, go ahead and click that, the little pod right here. 
They'll put it in. They'll charge it when the teacher leaves the room or maybe her this back is a demonstration return. of wire They'll cast. take it out. They'll take a puff off of it, put it back in. Don't even know because there's less smoke with the jewel. And the girls, the way the girls will do it, they'll put it in their shirts. Then they'll take a puff off of it, blow the smoke in their shirts. So, you know, really all you can uh, get from it is maybe the smell, whatever liquid they are using, like the cherry flavor, chocolate, pina colada, you know, cotton candy, anything like that. These are some other devices that y'all may recognize as well. This is a demonstration okay, of the Okay, the e-liquid and e-juice. Uh, e if you didn't know this had anything to, to do with tobacco products and you saw this on the shelves in the store, what would you think it was? Uh, candy. candy? Right. So the companies are hiding, you know, or disguising their products and using brands that y'all are familiar with. So that are how, that's how, really how they are getting a lot of people hooked on get buying their products. Next. E-cigarettes, vape pens. This is it just is water vapor? This of Wirecast. No, it's not. And I will have people to tell me I only vape water. No, there's nicotine particles in it no matter what. Some of the chemicals that are found in e-cigarettes and vape pen aerosol are some of the same chemicals that are found in regular cigarette smoke. But the ones that are highlighted in yellow, next, which I think you might be able to see, these are some this of the most harmful of or potentially cast. harmful substance uh, found in the aerosol. And this was from the data from FDA in 2012. So go back to the chemicals, that's fine. Flamaldehyde. What is formaldehyde? Yes, it's embalming fluid. That's what they use to preserve dead bodies with. So that's in there. Arsenic. What's arsenic? Poison. poison. What do we use arsenic for, really? This is a Rat demonstration poison? of wire cast. To kill rats? Yes. So it's got more metal in it than cigarettes as well. Go ahead. Okay, the stronger e-cigarettes and vapes. You've got the salt-based nicotine, which means the salt-based nicotine, the liquid that they use, it's vaporized at a lower temperature. But it's got 59 milligrams per milliliter of nicotine in a jewel pod than compared to this the free-based nicotine of, of a tank, cast. which is 0 to 36 milligrams of nicotine per milliliter. These pods are not refillable. These are, but people are finding ways to refill the pods. What's in that pod? Next. What's in that pod? Of course, you've got nicotine, which is the main thing. And like I said, people will say, I don't use the nicotine, but you've got nicotine in it. And these are some of the other ingredients, plus... This is a demonstration of wire cast. ...more of the chemicals that was found in the list earlier. But one jewel pod is, equals one pack of cigarettes in nicotine. So in other words, if this represents someone who just smokes a half a pack of cigarettes a day for a year, okay, if they're smoking a whole pack, that jar is full of nicotine. So, and there's over 20 million devices sold every month. The effects that this the nicotine is a has. Of wire What's cast. nicotine? You've got the nicotine molecule. It's a drug, it's a stimulant, it's highly addictive, it causes changes in the brain chemistry, and it's found in tobacco products. So, if nicotine is unsafe, why do you think people still choose to use it? Anyone? Addiction. Addiction, yes. So, the nicotine in the brain. We've got the molecule, the nicotine molecule right here. I call this the pleasure receptacle in the brain. When that nicotine hits it, it's going to shoot off this is those receptacles of because cast. you're enjoying it. In other words, I'm an example. If I had chocolate cake and pizza here in front of me, and I gave each of y'all a slice of cake and pizza, and y'all took a bite, then I took it back up from you, and I left it here on the table for y'all to see. And then I'm up here trying to teach you something. What are you thinking about? Are you listening to what I'm saying? No. 
you're thinking, I want some more pizza and chocolate this cake. This is a demonstration Correct? of wire right. cast. So, and here's the black and white photo of it. You've got the molecule shooting off. And then that's where, then the cycle of the nicotine addiction starts. You've got the vaping, someone vaping. Then you've got the molecule that hits the brain. They took a puff. Okay, then they're settled down for about an hour, you know, maybe 30 minutes, ever how long it takes them to want some, uh, to get another hit off of that jewel. The receptacles will sort of shrink. Of wire then your brain is thinking, I want, I want more, I want more. Then that's how the cycle will start because all you're thinking about is that nicotine, that next hit off of that jewel. So, nicotine and its effect on the body. Yes, it does affect the heart the lungs, and the stomach. And we do know that some of the chemicals that's in the jewel or the vape pens, it does cause cancer. So we do know that. The this effects that the flavoring has of on it, you've got different flavors, like I was saying. And yes, they do have uh, flavors for, they call it vapor trim. Why do, the, why do you think they call it vapor trim? Especially the girls. What are girls concerned with mostly? Weight. Yes. It says, inhale the flavor, curb the cravings, lose weight. Yes, a lot of people this will think that them smoking regular cast. cigarettes will keep their weight down. And when they quit, they're afraid that they may gain a couple of pounds. Yes, you will gain maybe five pounds or so, but that's just like with anything. That's just like if I was eating, you know, I love chocolate cake myself. So I'm thinking, okay, I need to cut down, so I'm going to cut that chocolate cake out. But really, that's all I'm craving. And, you know, I may, and I may take a, this you know, something to help me lose of weight. Wire cast. But it's really not because. The more you crave something, eventually you're going to give in to that craving. Next. And these are some more, uh, some more of the flavorings that they have, the cherry, the popcorn lung. Have y'all heard the term popcorn lung? Okay. What's popcorn lung? Right. And the reason why they call it popcorn this lung is, a is of wire there was an in, there's an industry, the popcorn industry. Now, I'm not saying to go home and tell your mom and dad to throw away the butter-flavored microwave popcorn. That's not it. But the people that breathe that chemical in, they used in the butter flavoring, which is called dicitral, they breathed that in every day. They ended up getting sick, ended up with a lung disease. It's treatable, but it's not curable. So, this is a demonstration yes, of wire cast. If you, you know, just breathe that chemical in, you could probably get popcorn lung, but just, you know, eating regular popcorn, no, you can't get. <laughs> I mean, you know, you're not going to do that. Third hand smoke, yes, you can get third hand smoke from vaping. You've got Mr. Macho over here that is blowing his smoke. Go ahead. Oh, excuse me. You got Mr. Macho over here. He's blowing smoke in that room. Okay, he's gone. This is a demonstration Small of Small children, wire cast. other adults, your animals may come into that room. They'll sit on the couch. Maybe the dog's on the carpet. The nicotine particles is, on, is in the furniture, is on the carpet. So they're breathing that, those chemicals, the nicotine chemicals in as well even though you, there's no smoke in the room. They're still breathing that in. E-cigarettes explodes. Yes, they do explode on people. There's actually one that this man, this is uh, a demonstration they said of that wire cast. Uh, his device exploded, shattered into pieces. Part of the metal that the device was made out of lodged into his main artery of his neck and he bled to death. Yes, they have been people to die from vaping. There was actually a 17-year-old a up north that died from vaping. So, you know, it does, you know, explode. Why do you think they have the young people down here? 
This is a demonstration of Wirecast. Right. Young people your age, 80% of adults, adult smokers started before they was 18. Yes, and I have had fifth grade students to tell me they have already started juuling. Adolescents who vaped were four times more likely to report cigarette smoking. In other words, we got the non-user group over here. So they've decided, well, I want to be in the in this crowd. I want to be popular. So cast. they start vaping or using e-cigarettes. They'll cross that bridge. Click, please. They'll cross the bridge. Then they'll end up probably eventually becoming regular cigarette smokers. In other words, they're saying that more than likely if you vape, you'll probably start smoking regular cigarettes later on. So knowing what we know about e-cigarettes and considering all the things that this we don't know, why do cast. people do it? To be cool, yes. Anything else? Right. But you know, you can get the flavors from something else. You can get the flavors from ice cream. You can get the flavors from candy. Right. This is a but demonstration of wire. What cast. I tell people, I've got a 28 and a 25 year old. I graduated in 1980. Yes, there was peer pressure back then too. And I'm sure that your teachers can tell you that when they were in school, there was also peer pressures for them as well. But you don't have to be a follower just because, you know, the quarterback of the football team is vaping. You don't have to follow him. This is or, a you know, the head cheerleader. You don't have to follow her. Instead, be a leader because you may help that quarterback or that head cheerleader to quit. You know, students, they think it's the th uh, cool thing to do. And I've had uh, students to tell me, I, I just do it because I want to blow the smoke rings. But, you know, there's other things that you can do. And I had one student in middle school that says, but I do it because this I'm stressed. This is a demonstration of Wirecast. What do y'all have to be stressed about right now? Are y'all stressed? Or is anybody stressed right now in this room? You know, like I told that student, I said, they don't know what stress is. Wait until you get to be an adult. Then you've got stress because you're going to have to worry about, okay, I've got to, I'm going to work. This I've got to go to work. I've got to provide cast. food, clothing, a place to live for my kids. And if they've got a car, well, you know, they may not work. They may play sports and everything. Well, you've got to put gas in that car, so they've got to have money as well. So you've got to give them money for lunch for their, or gas for their car. And if they're going out on a date on the weekend, you know, they might need some money to go to McDonald's or, you know, wherever they're going to take their date. That's stress. High school, is middle school, elementary school, cast. no. Y'all don't have stress right now. So, is there any questions on anything that I've talked about? I appreciate y'all letting me come and do the presentation for y'all. But if there's any questions or anything, I'll be more than glad to answer them. If not, thank you.